Hello, let's discuss about scoring system for transient ischemic attack. Scoring system used is ABCD2 scoring system. A means age, any age of more than 60 is given a point of 1. B is blood pressure, systolic blood pressure of more than 140 millimeters of mercury or diastolic blood pressure of more than 90 millimeters of mercury is given a score of 1. C is clinical symptom. If the patient has unilateral weakness, then we give a score of 2. If the patient has only speech disturbance within the form of aphasia or in the form of dysarthria without weakness, then we give a score of 1. D, 2. So there are two uh, components in, the, in this uh, parameter. One is the duration of clinical symptom. If the symptom lasted for more than 1 hour, we give a score of 2. If the symptom lasted more than 10 minutes but less than 1 hour, we give a score of 1. Next one is a diabetes. If the patient has diabetic, is diabetic, then we give a score of 1. Otherwise, we give a score of 0. So we plot the score and we divide the patient into categories. If the score is 0 to 3, we consider it as low risk TIA. 4 to 5, we consider it as moderate risk. 6 to 7, we consider it as high risk. As the score is higher, the chance of having further strokes is higher. This is a scoring system which is important. It can come as a question as uh, the scoring system is commonly used in clinical practice to predict the future strokes in a patient with TIA. And there are a lot of information in particular in this particular uh, scoring system which can be formed as an MCQ question. So please read this particular scoring system just before going to an exam, any MCQ exam as a last minute topic. Let's discuss about cerebral embolism. non traumatic atrial fibrillation is the most common cause of cerebral embolism. We have developed a scoring system which uh, guides us in deciding about the therapeutics for a patient with atrial fibrillation and also the scoring system helps us to predict the annual stroke risk for that particular patient. So what is the score? Score is basically CHA2DS2VASC score. So it is an upgraded version of CHADS2 score which was developed initially in 2001. So what does the score comprise of? C is for congestive heart failure or LV ejection fraction of less than 40%. So we give a point of 1. Next is hypertension, that is H. We give a score of 1. Next is A, 2. So this particular parameter has a score of 2. If age is more than or equal to 75, then we give a point of 2. Next is D, that is diabetes, S, 2. So this parameter also has a score of 2. So any prior TIA, prior thromboembolism or prior stroke is present, then we give a score of 2. Next is V, which is vascular disease in the body. Diseases considered are uh, myocardial infarction, peripheral vascular disease and aortic plaque in the image. Next one is the age, uh, which is basically above 65 and less than 74, we give a score of 1. And uh, the last one is a sixth category. If the patient is a female, we give a score of 1. If the patient is a male, we give a score of 0. So we plot the score. Higher the score, the higher chance of patient having cerebral embolism. And how does the score help us to guide the therapy? If the score is 0 or 1 in case of female, 0 in case of a male, then no anticoagulation is required. If the score is 1, in a male, then anticognition can be considered. If the score is 2, irrespective of the gender, we have to start the patient on anticognition to prevent the further stroke because of embolism. So this is a, a scoring system which can be asked as a question. The questions can come up in various forms. One is to plot the score, second would be to identify a parameter which is not in the uh, scoring system another one would be to identify a parameter which 
is in the scoring system. So it is important to know about this score. It is a likely question which can come up in this exam. Thank you.